Hello, uh, today I'm going to be going through how to download a part file from our Canvas files and then make it into a part we can use in LT Spice. Uh, you'll need this starting Lab 5, and then you'll also need it for Lab 8 and the final project. So starting with Lab 5, I'm just going to open up our file. Um, the files might be in slightly different locations depending on um, if we move things around in the Canvas course, but you're going to look for the slum249.zip file, and we're going to download it. And we're going to save it to our downloads folder. Alrighty. Go to downloads. Uh, an important part is you have to unzip it or extract it. Okay. So, yeah, here's our downloads folder. So, after you've extracted it or unzipped it, you're going to open it up and you're going to make sure it contains this .lib file, which we're going to use to build our part. So, I'm going to Go ahead and launch LT Spice. Control O for open. And then in our downloads file, and you'll probably need to go here to click all files in order to see it. I missed it. Do, do, do. So yeah, I have to I'm gonna open this .lib file. And when you open it, you'll notice it's mainly text. Uh, you have to scroll down to this line here that says .sub circuit. Um, you're gonna right click on it and click create symbol. And um, it prompts you to save something. I just, I'll, for now, I'm going to save it in my downloads folder. So now we have this part. So this is actually our op amp. Um, it doesn't look like an op amp the way we think, but um, we have five pins here one, two, three, four, five. And uh, this file here actually specifies what each of those pins does. One is our non inverting or our quote positive input, two is our inverting or negative input, three is our positive power supply, four is our negative power supply, and five is our output. So you could use this in LT Spice. Uh, personally, I really don't like this because it's super confusing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify this a little bit so it actually looks like an op amp. So you can make it look however you want it to look, but I'm going to just go for the regular like triangle looking symbol for our op amp. So I'm going to click L, which is our line tool. We're going to be using some of LT Spice's built-in like visual stuff. Uh, whoops. So let me just move on over here. So just going to. Again, you can do this however you want, but I'm going to do like a four, five, six, seven long line. I'm going to go up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come over here. Okay, so here's my triangle for my op up. I'm going to go ahead and move our uh, pin one, which is our non inverting, and pin two, which is our inverting uh, inputs. There, I'm going to move pin three, which is our uh, positive power supply, and four, which is our negative power supply there, and five, which is our output there. And then, yeah, so I'm just going to, this is the very important part, do not delete anything here. Um, the only thing you can delete is this like green, uh, this yellow looking rectangle, but we're going to wait to do this. Um, if you delete something here, it can actually really mess up your part, and uh, trust me, I have a, I made this mistake when I first took circuits, and it took me a long time to figure out. But what we're going to do with this UNNN thing is you're going to right click on it, justification not visible, okay, and then you're going to right click on this thing. Um, justification not visible. And again, don't delete it, don't change any of that. That's really important for how LT Spice organizes its its parts, um, but we don't need to worry about it. So after we've hidden that, I'm gonna go ahead and just delete this rectangle because I don't I'm not gonna use it. So if I click uh, backspace and just click and drag over that, we can delete it. And then for our pins, I'm going to again right click not deleting, uh, not visible, three not visible, four not visible and then one and two, not visible. Okay, and now I'm gonna put in my own labels. So clicking T for text, I'm gonna do a plus sign and centered. I can put this here. I'm just gonna copy this over here and make this oops, negative. And then just making this also a plus sign here and also a negative sign here. And then just for personal preference, I'm going to label this. So T again for text. And this is called our TLV, whoops, TLV272, I believe. Center justification. Uh, it's a bit big, so I'm going to right click and do, start with that. Uh, okay, I'm actually going to shrink these a bit too. Do -do -do. Uh, 
and then I'm not going to label my output because I don't think I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, control R to rotate it, and just put this in the center like that. And then I'm just going to press M to move everything. Just uh, align it on the origin. You don't need to do that, but at least whenever you place this part, it'll always move in like that. I'm actually going to rotate it as well. Whoops. Oh. There we go. There we go. So yeah, whenever I place this part, it'll just appear like this. It'll <laughs> spawn in like this. Cool. And then I'm going to press Control S. Great. So now that we've built it uh, and created our part to make it look the way we want it to look, we need to make sure that we save it in the place that won't get we won't like delete um, whenever we want to place it. So because if you accidentally delete this part, then you have to go redo this entire process, and it's kind of a pain. So going back to my downloads folder, uh, this .asy file is what we just created. It's our part. And um, you can save this anywhere uh, you really want to, anywhere that you uh, think is like a good place to save it. But I'm going to put it in the file that contains all the other parts used in LTSpice. Um, this is a little complicated, so you don't need to do this exactly. Um, and this might be it might be in a slightly different location if you're on a Mac or if you're using Linux or anything that's not Windows. But in order to locate the LTSpice file that contains all the rest of the parts we use, I'm pressing Windows R. Uh, typing percent app data percent. This opens this, and then I'm gonna click. Uh, so we're in the app data then roaming folder. I'm gonna click app data, go to local, and then scroll down until I find LT Spice lib sym. And now we get here are the rest of our parts. So don't delete anything here because if you delete it, then it will be deleted from LT Spice, and that's not not ideal. Um, I right-clicked and pr created a new folder and labeled it uh, EEL311C uh, for this class. And so I already uh, dragged in from when I took the class my, my part file for our uh, op amp. Really quickly, um, if you just want to make sure that you're not doing anything wrong, um, once you are in your the sim folder, uh, and like if you create a folder to put your stuff in, um, what I recommend doing is right-clicking on the downloads folder or wherever you originally saved your part file. And then, yeah, and then just kind of just dragging this in here. I'm not going to drag it in because I already have one in place there. But yeah, just that's how you just move it in there easily enough. So when you do that, uh, make sure again you've saved this. Or you might need to close LT Spice before you try moving it, um, just because you can't have a file open uh, while you're trying to modify it. But once you've closed LT Spice and saved your part file and start something new, if you press P to place a new part. Um, if you created a folder to store your part, um, here is mine. Uh, you'll notice, hey, it loads in like that. And Control R to move it around. Uh, Control Y, I think, flips it. Or no, Control E flips it. Uh, if you ever need to flip it. Um, and yeah, so that's our op amp. So again, you don't need to customize it like this, but I just customized it because it makes life a lot easier for me. One more thing I should add, uh, for Lab 8, when you download the zip file from the Lab 8 uh, files part on Canvas and you unzip it, um, you'll notice that it only has this uh, this dot five underscore one file, which is kind of weird. It behaves the same way as a, a lib file does in LTSpice. So if you open this file in, oh, again, uh, select all files. If you open it in LTSpice, it'll be the same thing. Um, so you need to find this line, right click on it, create symbol, uh, and then save the symbol. And it'll, again, create this like weird looking symbol. Uh, fortunately, the pinout for this comparator and the pinout for our op amp is the exact same. So if you want, you can just, again, make that triangle. Uh, just make sure you label it so you can you know, tell the difference between an op amp and a comparator when you're building circuits.